Hello planner people. Um, I just wanted to do a double unboxing today. Uh, one of these things that I received today, I was expecting and one of them I was not expecting. It just showed up without a shipping notice. That would be this one here. Um, two things I'm going to unbox and then we're going to maybe just compare them a little bit. So, um, I'm not sure which one I want to do first. Actually, I think I'm going to do this one first. This one is not the surprise. And I did cut the box open. I haven't looked inside yet. Da -da -da -da. Of course it's the Julio. Okay. So, um, kind of went through a stage... Well, let me just unbox this first. Let's just not mess around, right? Stop blabbing and get to unboxing. Um, <laughs> surprise! It's a Campania uh, medium. So I did try a medium before, and I sold it. I didn't even get give it enough of a chance, and I. I don't know. I just felt like I wanted to try it again because I only gave it like a blink of an eye and I said, nope, it's not going to work for me. And I abandoned it and sold two of them that I had. So anyway, um, yeah, I want to try it out again, see how it goes. You know, maybe it's going to work. These look like, hmm. Yeah, these are 25 millimeter rings. I really wanted to try this out as a everyday carry. So I was trying to keep it not so huge, you know, like I think if you get the XL, it would be a little bit bigger this way. And so if I'm going to put this in my bag every day, uh, I wanted to keep it small, but I didn't think a slim was going to work for me. So, um, Ooh, purple pen cute so I'm gonna give this a try I think this is gold and I'm gonna set this up for October I know I'm kind of always running behind luckily I have my weeks to keep me on track otherwise I would never know where I'm going but um, it's very pretty I like it uh, I don't think I've ever gotten a Julio product that I didn't like though so this one has some natural you know, looks like some natural marks and stuff. This is very pretty. I can't remember if this was premium good deals or not. It might have been. Uh, I like it a lot. So, um, that one I was expecting. The other one, let me bring that up here. So this one, after I had abandoned um, medium, or personal size, whatever you want to call it. I had already ordered this. And you know, it took a month to get. Actually, it took longer than a month, I should say. I am on week eight right now. And I hadn't gotten a shipping notice. And I had just sent an email to customer service like, oh, what's going on? But I had ordered this already when I had abandoned mediums. So, of course, then... It was too late to change my size or anything. So here is a Vanderspec that I had ordered. And I'm really nervous about this one. Oh, it's in Stardust. Oh, here's the fly leaf. I like it already. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And I think that's kind of why I wanted to try medium again is because I knew I had this Vanderspec coming. I was like, oh gosh, I didn't even give it a fair shake. Oh, you guys. So here's what I'm going to say. As much as I love the Gilios, I like the color variation in this Vander spec here on this flyleaf. Oh, let me just get the planner out before I start yakking away. Oh, look at how pretty she is. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. 
Oh my. Okay. So, wow. That's really pretty. I like it. So, okay. So what I was saying, I think that's going to work out. Oh, that's so nice. It's very velvety feeling. It's very soft. And... Okay. So what I was going to say before. So I really love my Julio's. And um, but one of the things that's driving me crazy with the latest Crocs is, let me just show you. Okay, see, this is gorgeous, right? I love the color. It's so beautiful. But there's absolutely no color difference, really, in and what you're seeing in the camera is just texture right here. It's not a color difference at all. It's a flat color. And it's gorgeous, but I really would like if this had some color variation like my the Honey Matte Croco that I have. Let me grab that in case you haven't seen my other video. Okay, so just to show you what I mean, you can definitely see in these little, I don't know, are they called scales? I don't know what they're called. These little, I'll call them scales. So there's a lot of color difference here, you know, like there's some light, there's some dark. That's what I wish my pink one looked like. Um, and as much as I still love it, I prefer if there is some variation in the color. So that's why this really appeals to me is, wow, I mean, you can see there's some dark here. It makes it look very 3D because if you look at this on camera, you're probably thinking it's super duper bumpy and lots of grooves. And there are, but they're just not nearly as deep as what you think because it's just the coloration. Let me get this closer. It's really hard. I don't want you to see my fingernails. I don't take very good care of them. So it's really pretty. So I think definitely I'm going to like this one. Now I'm hoping and praying that I warm up to the medium so that I don't have to reorder this in another size. Because like I said, this is week eight and I was getting a little bit antsy. You know, they're not cheap. And when you spend that much money and then have to wait two months, it's kind of like, well, my money's been gone for two months and I have nothing to show for it. So I was glad to see this come. It just showed up. The FedEx man knocked on my door today and there it was. So it's really nice. But let's look at the Julio next to the Vander Spec. Now, this is a little bit different comparison because it's not a croc. Okay, yep, so I feel like the Vander Spec is a little bit bigger, which it is. You can see right there, you got a little bit more, so you could really stuff this baby. I can't remember what size rings these are either. I have to look that up because maybe I got 30 mil. I don't think I did though. I think I got 25. So yeah, um, the Vanderspec is a little wider. So there you go. And they're, you know, pretty close on to the same height. So maybe the Julio is just a hair taller. It's a negligible difference though. So yeah, um, the clasps are about the same width but I feel like this one sticks out farther like it's meant to be stuffed which I am a fan of stuffed planners so oh that's very nice I feel very happy with both of these so if I warm up to the um, medium size which I'm praying that I don't have to put these on buy sell trade then I would really like to order the pink version of this leather which is called Sec Secura so um because I've seen plenty of those and they're gorgeous so 
anyway that's my unboxing it wasn't a very good one because um i'm on vacation and i slept most of the day and i'm a little out of it so hope that you enjoyed seeing these two unboxings and side by side comparison i'm trying to think they're approximately the same price so um it's a tough choice between the two other than you know you're going to get rounded corners with the van der Speck and squared corners with the Gilio, and pretty much all the um i didn't change a lot of options you know i added the fly leaf in the back pocket and i think that's about it so so for that um it was about the same price as the Gilio. So anyway, um, thanks for watching. Bye.